What's up, nerds? Drea here. I know you all missed my absolutely beautiful face. I know I did. Anyway, so today we're going to talk about something that I haven't really mentioned on this channel a lot. Or at all. Maybe not at all. I don't remember, to be honest. What we're going to talk about is why I, as an adult, have... A Celine Dion um, movie case CD thingamajig um, full of Barbie movies. In order. I love Barbie movies, guys. I am 28 years old. I have loved them since the very first one came out in the year 2000, Barbie and the Nutcracker. And what drew me to Barbie movies initially that very first one is I've always loved ballet. I've always loved ballet. So um, when I was a little kid, uh, I told my mom I wanted to take either ballet or karate. Um, and basically it was like, choose one, ballet or karate. At the time I chose karate. I didn't get to do any of them because we, we, we couldn't afford them, so <laughs> um, I didn't get to do ballet or karate, but I really am still interested in ballet. I own ballet slippers. I work on technique every once in a while when my ankles aren't messing with me because my body is broken. But one thing I loved about that first Barbie movie was how much ballet was in it. I'd never really seen that much, and it would be several years before I would even get to see the Nutcracker. I wouldn't see it until I was in college, though my mom claims that she took me to it when I was tiny, which, you know, tiny means, um, I didn't remember it. Thanks, mom. So, what kept me watching the Barbie movies? Okay, so the second one that came out was Barbie as Rapunzel, which, by the way, I am convinced that Disney may have stolen just a little bit from the Barbie one, because... I don't remember there being a thing with painting in the original Rapunzel tale, but these both have painting in them as a main theme. So, it's a, a little bit suspicious. But, okay, but anyway, Rapunzel is not one of my favorites, but I do like it. Um, the next one was Swan Lake. Way more ballet. Not a great story, but way more ballet. I love ballet. I love it so much. And then the fourth one came out and it was a musical. Basically, every Barbie movie that came out for like, um, these Barbie movies are actually Gen 2. Yes, I'm that much of a nerd. Um, all the Gen 2 Barbie movies, basically, they came out at times when I was like, yes, I want these. And the fourth one actually came out around the time I was like, like 12 or 13 so I was at the point where people were like why are you watching Barbie movies ew and I was like um because they're kind of good y'all and I hold that opinion to this day the Barbie movies aren't bad they're not always good but they're definitely not bad um moving on to other ones that I like I don't I own pretty much just ones that I like uh, for the most part. Let's see. Fairytopia, I like okay. Magic of the Pegasus, so underrated. Uh, Mermaidia, my niece and I once fought over who was going to be the Blue Mermaid. I was in my 20s. I'm not embarrassed. 12 Dancing Princesses, um, dancing. I love ballet. And Magic of the Rainbow is okay. Island Princess, one of my favorites. It's a musical. The music is fantastic. Um, Mariposa, I like okay. Diamond Castle, another musical. I own a lot of the musical ones. Three Musketeers is like a top tier comedy. I mean that honestly. Um, Fashion Fairy Tale and Fairy Secret are just kind of okay. Princess Charm School was a Barbie movie that my mom bought me my freshman year of college. And um, yeah. And also, Pearl Princess, um, it's got mermaids. And I used to own, um, one of the Christmas ones, but I think my niece stole it. And I'm not happy about it because I like that Christmas one. It was, ah, Perfect Christmas. That one's a great one. So, I really do like the Barbie movies. I've met one of the voice actresses, not Kelly Sheridan, who I wish I had met. Um, I can't remember... <laughs> Right at the top, off the top of my head, I can't remember the name of the, the person that I did meet. She was the third Barbie actress. Um, I wish I could meet Kelly Sheridan. Oh my gosh, that would just kill me. Um, 
that would just absolutely kill me. Um, Kelly Sheridan was also Songo in Inuyasha, and she was also Nana um, Komatsu in Nana, so I would love to meet her for many, many reasons. So one thing that people like point to as, um, yeah, these movies suck, um, is uh, the animation. Now, I'm no expert on animation or anything, but from what I understand, they kind of did like kind of motion capture type thing to simulate better dancing. Um, but it's all CG, and at first I was kind of like, eh, I don't really like C CG, because at the time, um, there were only a few CG movies. Now it's the norm. Now CG movies are all over the place, and now we miss 2D movies. But the CG, especially in those first few movies, was a little bit, uh, iffy, but the dancing was always on point. <laughs> That's a ballet pun, pun for you. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. Um, anyway, the dancing was always great. Um, voice acting was always great. Tim Curry's in the first one, by the way. Um, he's in at least two of these. Up until, like, the middle of Gen 3 is when I was watching the Barbie movies, and I've seen most of them up to that point. I've actually seen most of them, period. I think there's maybe two or three that I haven't seen, and that's because the ones that they've released recently have been really gimmicky and terrible. Um, they did a, basically a Wreck-It Ralph meets the Emoji Movie type one, and it was awful. It was awful. And there's really only been like two of the Barbie movies so far that I will not rewatch under any circumstances, and it is that one, which is video game, video game something? video game adventure, something like that, and then Thumbelina, which is a trash movie, do not at me, I hate it. And honestly, I'm, I, I, I'm not in a minority here with adult women loving the Barbie movies, or just adults loving the Barbie movies. I used to be a part of a group of adults that would go and hang out and watch Barbie movies. And a lot of those people moved away and I miss them, and if you're watching this video, miss you guys. But, um, yeah, and I'm, I, um, one, one interesting thing that came out of 2020 for me is that I, I joined a ton of groups on Facebook, and one of them is a Barbie group, and we have people having, like, these serious discussions, alongside some really crazy memes, about Barbie movies and what they meant to us as both kids and adults. And I find that very, very fun. Uh, nostalgic is a, nostalgia is a fun thing, guys. Um, nostalgia isn't always just, you know, something that you can use to bait people into watching your stupid movie, Robert Rodriguez. It can also be something that brings people together, which is great. Uh, I, I mean, I used to be in a big minority, even as, even as a kid. Not everybody really liked the Barbie movies when I was a kid. I mean, like, I had a couple cousins that liked them, but most people that I'd be like, hey, let's sit down and watch a Barbie movie, they're like, Barbie? Um... No, we're watching a Bratz movie, <laughs> which I do love Bratz too. I'll talk about them another day. Uh, I never got into Monster High, by the way. I, I missed out on Monster High. That was oh, such a tragedy. But anyway, yeah, so I love Barbie movies. Don't laugh at me because I love them. And... I don't know how to properly end this video, so I'm just gonna say, um, if you want to see a Barbie movie that's actually very, very good, see Barbie as the Island Princess. I've shown that to a couple people. Um, they've been like, okay, this is not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Um, Princess and the Pauper is also another, is basically top tier, Princess and the Pauper. Uh, almost everybody agrees that Princess and the Popper is the very best Barbie movie, and I kind of agree. It's basically iconic and the music is amazing, and you should definitely see it. So, that's gonna end the video for today. I don't know where I was looking for most of this video. That's what I do when I do these unscripted ones. I'm very, very sorry. No, I'm not, by the way. Um, how's it sound? How's everything sounding? I'm kind of like... I don't have a cold. Um, I spent like the last week or so at my parents, basically snowed in for several days. That's why this video is late. And I have a cat there, and I'm very, very allergic to cats, but I love cats. So I would basically just like press him right into my face and without caring. And after like four days of doing that, my body was like, 
no, you're done. So I spent like the last three or four days not being able to breathe. So that's been nice. But um, anyway, thanks for watching this video. Please make sure to like it if you liked it and don't dislike it just because you hate Barbie movies. But you can dislike it if you want to um, tell me that Princess and the Popper is not the best Barbie movie because it totally is. And also if you want to tell me that Island Princess is not good. I've seen a lot of people putting that at the bottom tier and they're wrong. The music is iconic and oh my gosh, Rosella is basically a perfect character. Anyway, please subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell so you're notified when I upload more videos late, late, late. Have a great rest of your day, week, month, and year and I'll catch you guys later. Didn't you miss this? I missed this. <laughs> Bye. So I actually filmed another video like half an hour ago, but I decided that I hated it, so I decided to film this one. So that's why it's a little bit rushed. <laughs>